Hello and welcome to Uncommon Art and to this tour of our exhibit entitled Mixing It Up, Mixed Media Art by Women Artists. We have 10 artists participating in the show. They um, have all used a variety of material from vintage photographs and vintage papers to fabric and buttons, steel and magazine images, plastic and paper, and silver. So all of the artwork in the show is available for purchase. We are open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5. If you're interested in any of the artwork or in knowing more about any of the artists, please reach out. We are happy to help you. I'm going to give you a close-up look at each of the individual artworks here, so get comfortable and enjoy the tour. Women's Work by artist Shannon Casey is a mixed media piece incorporating oil pastel, colored pencil, and collage. She says, according to the Associated Press, of all the people who have ever gone to space, only 65 have been women, and of that number, 51 were Americans. The European Space Agency is recruiting new astronauts and seeking to diversify its workforce. So this piece salutes female space travelers who have blasted through ceilings, hypothetical and atmospheric, and she has inscribed all of their names and their locations in the background of this piece. He Embroidered the Truth is a two-dimensional mixed media piece by artist Shirley Endesax. Shirley loves to use found materials, found papers, old photographs, as well as papers that she has painted herself. And then this one incorporates a lot of hand stitching throughout the middle of the piece as well as some buttons. And then Shirley likes to develop titles for her pieces that are a combination of wordplay and poetry, which really add a lot of personality to her pieces. Truth Sets You Free is a mixed media piece by artist Dawn Gettig. She loves trees and nature and truth. It's a multi-layered piece. The base includes French, tra French translations of the ugly duckling fairy tale, as well as other book pages, some music sheets, and more. On top of that, she stenciled layers of acrylic paint in very soft ethereal colors to bring all the elements together and create a misty feel to the piece. The focal point of trees are from a photo that she took from her favorite hiking area next to the Chagrin River. My Darling Clementine by artist Karen Koch is a collage on canvas inspired by a photograph of the artist's mother and her sisters. Um, be, they were a very tight-knit bunch, but because of the age difference between the siblings, they were very rarely ever together as adults. And this is one of the few known photographs of them. And the artist used an enlarged version of the photograph along with vintage sheet music, fabric, origami paper, and buttons to honor her mother and her sisters. They sort of look like a singing group, don't they? Like they, they're about ready to take a bow. In the Drink is a wonderful little mixed media piece by artist Katina Pastis Radwanski. It's composed of a variety of layers of fabric and some plastic mesh along with the little plastic straw and cup. Wine with Friends by artist Deborah Shapiro is a collage made only with magazine images. Deborah doesn't use any paint at all in her pictures. So because all of the pieces that are used in this artwork are cut from magazines, if you get up close and really look at this one, you'll see all kinds of wonderful things. There's lots of people and hands and uh, I think she says there's a, a pair of boots and a bathrobe but this one was inspired by getting together with her friends and having a glass or two of wine and enjoying each other's company. Problem Solver by artist Katina Pastis Radwanski is a steel sculpture that is painted black and then covered in 
mathematical equations. It's part of Katina's apron series, which is fueled by lots of factors, partly nostalgic, partly the feminist perspective, and partly the idea of a protective cover-up that is designed to protect something more precious than itself. So aprons are full of symbolism of service and servitude, as well as sometimes style. Joy by artist Karen Koch is a collage on vintage ledger paper, and it includes colorful printed paper, some silver foil, and her own hand prints. And it really does evoke a sense of joyousness. Saga of the Blue Lily is a mixed media piece by artist Helen Wilson. She's had a lifelong fascination with all things botanical, and this piece is part of her series called Giving Voice to Botanicals. She uses all painted paper that she cuts and shapes and forms, and then this one also includes little bits of fabric way inside some of those cutouts in the middle of the piece. Finding My Niche in the Western Reserve, Winter Months, is by artist Helen Wilson. She grew up in Southern California, but has lived in Northeast Ohio for nearly 50 years. After moving so far east, she was very surprised to discover that she actually lived in the Western Reserve. So this piece is about identifying her journey, both east and west, and coming to terms with it. So this is a mixed media collage using paper, acrylics, gold leaf, and there's a, even a little tiny watch face at the top of the piece. Jungle by artist Karen Koch is a two-dimensional collage on vintage ledger paper that incorporates both colorful magazine pages cut into a skyline shape as well as black and white maps and city skyline pages. Diary of a Seed by artist Helen Wilson is part of her series, Giving Voice to Botanicals. She has a lifelong fascination with all things botanical, inspired by playing in her grandmother's lush garden in Southern California when she was a child. The world of plants is so amazing and intriguing, yet we seem to take it for granted. In her series, she uses handwriting, numbers, and other sorts of communication forms to emphasize that the botanical world has a message for us. This is a mixed media collage made with paper, acrylics, gold leaf, and ink. Housework by Brenda Schneider is a collage on canvas. It's about eight by 10 inches. And we love this imagery with the hands cradling the house, partly for the idea of how much work goes into building a house physically, but also the amount of work that it takes into making that house into a home. Dana Gil Ray creates jewelry using silver and stones and enamel. The silver pieces start with just straight wire, which she coils around rods and saws into all these little teeny tiny rings. Then she weaves the rings together to create wearable works of art. Serenity, created by Deborah Shapiro, is a collage that invokes a sense of calm and serenity. She created this during 2020 and was making collages that uh, created a sense of peace and finds that often by looking at mountains, lakes, and flowers. Now, in addition to the magazine images that she uses normally, this one also includes some tissue paper in the sky area to help soften it and create that sense of distance behind the mountains. If you get up close and look at this one, you'll see all kinds of images that have been used throughout this, this artwork, including fish and paver stones and the different strips of blue that were used in the water Give the Little Lady a Big Hand is a collage piece by artist Brenda Schneider. We love this mix of black and white imagery and the mix of the flowers and the vintage images showing women in a variety of different roles.
The Waltz by artist Shirley Endesax is a wonderful little three-dimensional assemblage made from a variety of materials that Shirley calls street finds and flea market junk. So there's little metal pieces and a glass jar full of beads and yarn. And she says she's combining color and shape and texture into something that is quite expressive and evocative. Butterfly Fields by artist Don Gettig makes a nice companion to the other pieces we have from her for this show. It's a, again a variety of layers of acrylic paint in the background and then some paper and drawing materials to add detail and interest to the image. Fun is Good is a charming little assemblage made by Reamused, the mother-daughter duo of Anna and Sam Wisend. They use old game boards and recycle them and make them into journals. And we've had their journals for quite a while, but with the uh, pieces left over from the journals and the pieces that can't be made into journals, they have now been making mixed media wall art and we're just enchanted by this particular piece. The Places Will Go is number four in the Nest series by Seraphs and Salt Studio, which is the partner studio to Reamused. It's also mother and daughter duo of Anna and Sam Wisend, but it is their more mixed media focused wall art. They have recycled and upcycled a lot of the pieces used in this particular artwork. There's a wooden panel with a map in the background, the little seeds, that are sprinkled across the artwork are from a necklace that came from their mother, and then the nests and the little boxes are paper pulp with feathers inside.